In this lecture, I will explain what is transfer characteristics and how to obtain transfer characteristics of clipper circuit. Transfer characteristics is graph between input voltage and output voltage. Transfer characteristics is graph between graph between input voltage input voltage and output voltage and output voltage this is formal definition of transfer characteristics and in this graph in this graph x axis represents the input voltage and y axis represents the output voltage we have to find out transfer characteristics for this plot here vi is the input voltage and we have the sinusoidal waveform for the input voltage vo is the output voltage and this is the waveform for the output voltage you can see negative half of the input waveform is clipped in the output waveform so this waveform is waveform of negative clipper negative clipper and we have to find out transfer characteristics for this we will first find out what is the value of output voltage vo VO is equal to VI when VI is greater than or equal to 0 and output voltage VO is equal to 0 when VI is less than 0. You can see VO is same as the input waveform when VI is positive greater than or equal to 0 and VO is equal to 0 when VI is negative less than 0. Now we can easily plot the transfer characteristics using these values when vi is positive or greater than zero we have a straight line like this and slope slope is equal to 45 degree because vo is equal to vi this means y is equal to x and if you remember the straight lines you can relate y is equal to mx plus c where c is the intercept and it is equal to zero in this case so a straight line will pass through the origin m is the slope and slope is equal to one this means tan theta is equal to 1 this means theta is equal to 45 degree so slope is equal to 45 degree when vi is 1 vo is also equal to 1 when vi is equal to 2 vo is also equal to 2 so this is how the plot will look when vi is greater than or equal to 0 when vi is less than 0 vo is equal to 0 so plot will look like this when vi is less than zero so this is how the final transfer characteristics for this waveform will look now we will move to the second problem this problem is little bit complicated as compared to the first problem i will quickly draw the coordinates this is vi this is vo the input waveform is sinusoidal v1 and v2 are the two biasing potentials v1 and V2 are the two biasing potentials. In the output waveform, you can see both positive and negative portions of the waveform are clipped. So this waveform is the waveform of combination clipper, combination clipper. Now I will calculate the value of output voltage by using the output waveform VO. The output voltage is equal to the input voltage. The output voltage is equal to the input voltage when input voltage vi is greater than or equal to minus of v2 and it is less than or equal to v1 the output voltage is equal to vi this is what we have from the output waveform and the output voltage is equal to v1 when input voltage vi is greater than v1 you can see when input voltage vi is greater than v1 output voltage is equal to v1 output voltage is equal to minus v2 when vi is greater than minus v2 when vi is greater than minus v2 output voltage is equal to minus v2 i will use these values to plot the transfer characteristics for the given problem this is minus v2 this is v1 when input voltage is between minus v2 and v1 the output voltage is equal to input voltage so we have plot like this a straight line having the slope equal to 45 degree and when input voltage vi is greater than v1 the output voltage is equal to v1 so we have 
plot like this when input voltage V i is greater than V 1 output voltage is equal to V 1 when input voltage is greater than minus V 2 when input voltage is greater than minus V 2 the output voltage is equal to minus V 2 the output voltage is equal to minus V2. So this is the final plot for this problem. I hope transfer characteristics of clipper circuit is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you may ask in the comment section. This thing will be easy for you if you have already studied the control system subject. In control systems, we have to deal with transfer function and transfer function is equal to Laplace transform of the output to the Laplace transform of the input assuming all the initial conditions to be zero. So this is what we mean by transfer function. If you already know this, you will not find it hard to understand what I have explained in this lecture.